wanted to do a review for you today and the company that I am reviewing a product for is Glamour Doll Eyes and I am specifically reviewing their eyeshadows and I just wanted to do a little disclaimer I did purchase all of these eyeshadows that I'm going to show you on my own and I decided to do the review just to uh, open you guys up to this brand because they are seriously amazing I absolutely love their products and I just wanted to get you guys familiar with it Alright, so just some information about Glamour Doll Eyes themselves. Um, they started in November of 2008 and the owner's name is V. She is amazing to deal with. She is very, very nice and a very sweet person. Their eyeshadows that they sell on their website are mineral eyeshadows. So they are pretty much all natural products. And they do list on the back of the packaging, which I will show you, whether or not they are vegan. And um, besides selling eyeshadows, they also have eye lights, which are a type of glitter, and I will show you one now. This one is actually from one of their collections, but this is called Fire Eater, and it's just very, very fine glitter, so I find them very easy to use, and I like that they aren't chunky. So they also do sell lip products as well so if you guys are interested in that you can also check that so out. So there are three different sizes that you can get for their eyeshadows. The first one is the full size jar which is this one here and this costs you six dollars and with no sifter which is what I get with mine you get between two and two and a half grams of product in this little container so it's definitely a good amount of product that you get and you only pay six dollars and this is a five gram jar. And when you do have the sifter, it's between one and a half and two grams in the same five gram jar. So it's really a good amount of product. For the sample sizes, there are two different sizes. I don't have any of those to show you, but the baggie is $1.25 and you get 0.5 grams. And the jar, which is in a five gram jar, is $2.50 and you get one gram. So I think that even for trying it out if you don't want to spend the six dollars even getting the one gram and you still get a jar with it is pretty good and it definitely lets you try things out and at a cheaper cost. So I have seven eyeshadows that I'm going to show you. I'm going to swatch them both wet and dry for you and without a base so you can see the full potential of these colors even without a base because they are very very vibrant and they are amazing wet and then after I swatch them I will go through my thoughts about the products. So the first one that I'm going to show you is this one here, and this is called Sex Appeal. And this is one of my all-time favorites because it is a duochrome. And it looks green in the pan and it has a green shimmer to it, but it duochrome reflects as a purple. So I will swatch that for you and show you what it looks like. All right, so here's what that color looks like. This one is the dry one and this one is it wet. And you can definitely see the purple reflect that's in it. So that one is Sex Appeal. The next one that I'm going to show you is called Fyra. And this one is a very pretty pink and it's also kind of a duochrome and it has like purpley, blue and silver glitters in it. And that right there is Fyra. And you can definitely see the purple reflex when it's swatched wet, which this one right here is the wet one. The next one that I'm going to show you is a very dark blue and this one is called Hello Brooklyn. And this one has blue reflex in it. And that right there is Hello Brooklyn. This one is the dry one. This one's the wet one. And it's almost like a blackened blue color. It is very pretty and it definitely works great in the outer corner to darken up any look. The next one is another blue and this one is called Blueberry Lush. And that's what that one looks like. It is a very, very bright blue and it has blue shimmer in it. And that's that one there. This one is the dry one. The next one that I'm going to show you is Dirty Jeans, and this is one of my favorite shadows of any brand. And this one is a lighter pastel type of blue, and it has gold reflex in it, but the gold reflex really, really show up in this one. And that's that one right there. You can really, really see the gold. I like that a lot. The only thing that I noticed with this one that's different from the others is, as you can see here with the wet one, it's just a little bit kind of chunky when you wet it, so you don't want to apply too much of the shadow because it will get a little bit chunky on you. The next one that I have is a yellow color, and this one is called Electric Lemonade. It is a very, very bright, very pretty yellow color, and it does have some yellow shimmers in it as well. So here is what Electric Lemonade looks like. It's a little bit hard to see, 
but this one right here is the wet one. And the last one that I'm going to show you is called Immature, and this one is kind of a bright greenish teal sort of color. And this one is more of a... it looks matte in the pan, but it comes out with a little bit of a sheen on it when you do apply it. And that is that one there, and as you can see, even when it's wet, which is this one here, that it does have a sheen to it. So for the packaging for these products, I think the packaging is adorable. It does say Glamour Doll Eyes on the front and has um, a girl's picture on there. And this is a sticker, but I haven't had any of mine peel off or anything. And also on the back, there are stickers with the name of the product and whether it's a full jar or not. And then also they have whether it is lip safe or whether or not it is vegan. So some of their products are vegan, some are not, and some are lip safe and some are not. So I think that's a very good quality to have just so you know what you're using and where you can use the products. And the packaging itself is just a plastic little container but it is pretty durable and I haven't had any issues with any of mine breaking or anything. So overall I really do love these eyeshadows. As you can see from the swatches they have amazing pigmentation and that is exactly how they transfer onto the lid and they do blend out very very well. And I have done a couple tutorials using Glamour Doll Eyes, so I will link those down below as well just so you guys can see how easy it is to work with these shadows and how well they are when they're applied. The only thing that I have an issue with is with some of these shadows, more with like the greener tone ones like um, Sex Appeal and Immature and some of the bluer ones. They do tend to stain when they're used wet. I haven't really had any issues with them when they're dry, but when they are used wet, they do stain, so I just wanted to let you guys know about that. The staining isn't really that bad, and I haven't had an issue with it coming off after I wash my face, and there will be a little bit of a residual on the eyelid, but it's gone by the next morning, so it's really not that bad at all. So overall, I definitely give these shadows a 5 out of 5. I think they are great and they are an amazing product and definitely worth checking out. And for the price, it's definitely worth it because you're getting a good amount of product for only $6 if you buy the full size. And I think these will personally last you a long time because as you can see in here, there is a lot of product and you don't need to use a lot of it. So if you guys are interested in checking out Glamour Doll Eyes, I will have a link in the bottom bar so you can check it out. And I will also have some more detailed pictures on my blog just so you can see the colors true to their color because of the camera kind of distorts it a little bit, but I will definitely have some more swatch pictures there and the same review just in written form there as well. Alright guys, I hope you found this review to be very helpful and I will talk to you later. Bye!